You getting on? I'll need to see a permit, please. You mean this? Well, I'll be damned. You actually got a real travel permit. Well, yeah. We got it from the king. Wow, I would have never guessed from the way you look. So when is this ship departing? We'll be shoving off whenever they finish loading the cargo. Oh, not too long then. I can't be too sure of that. Tell you what, we'll wait up for you. So why don't you come back later? You know, poke around town a bit. Uh, okay. Well, we've got some time. How about we have a seat on that bench? Ow! He just came out of nowhere. Are you all right, Claude? Yeah, I'm fine. He just came out of nowhere. That was really rude of him. He could have at least apologized. Huh? What's wrong, Claude? Hey! My wallet's missing! What? Are you serious? That kid must have stolen it. I don't know. I might have dropped it somewhere. If that kid was behind it, we will definitely need to teach him a lesson. We need to find that kid first. What did he look like again? He was pretty small, and I think he had blue hair. That sounds about right to me. All right, let's have a look around town. you giving us back the wallet you stole first. What? What are you talking about? I didn't steal no wallet. Really now? You better not be lying. Claude. It's okay if you don't know what we're talking about, but if you do know something about it, it would be really nice of you if you can tell us, okay? You know, if we don't have any money, then we'll be stuck here and we won't be able to continue our journey. You haven't seen any wallets lying around on the ground or anything, have you? Whoa, you're traveling? But you didn't have enough money in your... So it was you! Uh, uh... Don't scare him like that, Claude! Listen, we aren't angry at you, okay? Just tell us what you were going to do with the money. Was there something you wanted to buy? I can get anything I want already. So why then? I just wanted to play a trick on you. Huh? I'm not some sheltered rich kid, okay? I'm a big macho sailor and I can do anything I want. Guess I showed you, didn't I? So that's why you stole the wallet? Nobody ever wants to play with me. They think I'm too rich and stuck up to be with them. Oh, brother. Well, now I understand. So, what are we going to do with this boy? How about we get our wallet back for starters? Here. I'm sorry. Now, what next? I know. Why don't you guide us around Kurok until our ship departs? I promise we won't tell on you. Huh? We're new in town, so we'd like someone who knows this place well to show us around. You know what I mean? Good idea, Claude. 
Need I remind you about sparing the rod? So you want me to be your tour guide? Could you? Sure, I'll do it. It sounds like fun. My name's Reyna. What's yours? Kettle. And my name is Celine. And I'm Claude. Good to meet you. All right, off we go then. You got it. Leave it to me. Did you feel that? Me? Not really. Oh, right. Hey, mister. What is it, Kettle? They call this place Fountain Square. Bet you didn't know that. Well, where will you hear this? Fountain Square is the busiest part of town. They've got a restaurant, a clothing store, and all kinds of other shops, too. Huh, neat. Do you play here with your friends, Kettle? Uh... Well, anyway, that's Fountain Square. Let's go hit up some of those shops. Kids, would you mind playing with Kettle for a while? Kettle? Aw, oh, man. I don't want to play with some rich kid. Oh, come on. That's no reason to say no. But that's what my mom told me. She said, don't play with that rich kid. My mommy said the same thing, too. But what does being rich have to do with who you play with? Kettle's been wanting to play with all of you for a long time. Don't you think that's what's important? Kettle? You really want to play with us? Yeah, I do. Then let's be friends. I always wanted to play with you, too. I was kind of wondering what you were like, too, Kettle. Well, great. Come on, Kettle. Go have some fun with them. But what about you guys? Don't worry about us. We've got to catch a ship to get on with our journey. Thanks. Kettle, over here! Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! It's nice seeing children play together, isn't it? I didn't realize you had a gentle side to you, Claude. Actually, I'm more than a little surprised myself. Anyway, we'd better get back to the business at hand. Shall we get going? Hey, you again. I think we're about to shove off. Really? Yep, sorry to keep you waiting. 
I got one more piece of cargo to load up, so if you got anything to buy or check up on one last time, go do it now. Got it. You feel that? Oh, again? you are hey mister where are your friends I could only find one of them oh what about your mother how's she doing the lady of the house was out of town when the earthquake struck she should be fine well I hope so mister hmm I'm glad you're okay, too. Thanks. Are you okay, Captain? Yeah, nothing short of a miracle, actually. But my crew's gone, uh, save for that guy over there. That was quite a shock, I have to say. That bizarre wind, and then that horrible rumbling. So what are you going to do now? A whole lot of nothing is what I'm gonna do. Can't do much without a ship. Let me give you a word of advice, though. You know I'm not the only way to get to L, right? Oh? Nope. First off, let me give you your royal travel permit back. Now take that permit with you to the Lacour continent. If you ask the king over there nicely, I bet he can arrange for a ship to take you to L. Lacour? Kind of out of your way, I know. But if you ask me, that's your best bet. You'll need to go through Harley first, though. That's a port city on the eastern edge of Cross. So first to Harley. You'll know you're going the right way if you see a village called Mars. Korok's kind of out of the picture right now, so Mars is going to be the best place to stock up and get a good night's sleep before the voyage. Mars. Got it. You still seriously want to go to L after all this? You guys must be crazy. 